My name is Farah Mateen and I'm a uh, neurology fellow and a PhD candidate at uh, Johns Hopkins Hospital. And the article we're going to be talking about is Caught Chewing a Smokeless Gun, with a question mark behind it. And it's uh, referring to an article published in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings on uh, November uh, 2010 by Dr. Lee and colleagues, uh, which includes more than 6,000 uh, participants, all of whom have uh, acute coronary syndrome. And the article is specifically looking at caught chewing, which is a uh, form of smokeless tobacco, which is used uh, widely. It's estimated that there are anywhere between 5 to 10 million caught chewers worldwide, although nobody knows the exact number. And it's the case that uh, caught chewing is basically a way of life or a social custom that's existed in some parts of the world for centuries. Uh, some people suggest that it may even predate the use of coffee. And uh, particularly in the uh, Horn of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula, uh, caught chewing uh, is what we'd call sort of endemic, and so that includes uh, Somalia, Yemen, and Ethiopia. In these places in the world, uh, caught chewing may be more common than even being vaccinated. Um, so in this article, they were looking uh, specifically at caught chewing as a risk factor for post-ACS events, which include death, cardiogenic shock, and stroke. And uh, when adjusting for all other risk factors, they found that caught chewing may be um, an even greater risk factor for stroke than other more traditional risk factors, uh, including diabetes and hypertension. Now, there are some uh, things to think about here because caught chewers um, are also in this study uh, more likely to be concomitant smokers. They're more likely to have high triglycerides and cholesterol, less likely to take aspirin. And so there are uh, different causal mechanisms that we can postulate or at least uh, think about as we look at this article. Um, first of all, um, cod is known to have sympathomimetic effects, and in some countries in the world it's actually illegal to possess or to sell or to even um, to use cod. Um, and that's because it's known to uh, have euphoric and mood-altering effects. So there's a possibility that you have a delayed insight into your own symptoms when you're chewing caught, and you may have a delay in care-seeking and therefore have all the negative sequelae that come with having a heart attack in the setting of chewing caught. Uh, the other possibility is that there's a direct physiological mechanism, which includes increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, which may, in fact, have um, negative consequences when you're in a stress situation like ACS. And the final situation that um, I proposed in the article is looking at uh, Yemen itself, where uh, all the caught chewers in this study actually come from. So 11% of the, the chewer, 11% of the population in the study were caught chewers, and the authors uh, state that all of these uh, caught chewers are in Yemen. And we know uh, things in Yemen are are different than some of the other countries that participated in this six-country study. And um, I particularly, <coughs> excuse me, looked at I particularly looked at gross national income among the different Middle Eastern countries according to World Bank income status, and uh, we know that Qatar and other countries, in, including some of the Emirates, have uh, one of, amongst the highest gross national incomes per capita in the world. Uh, by comparison, Yemen Yemen ranks 165th, and so we know that Yemen is a very poor country overall. A lot of uh, rural uh, dwellers live there, and they may not have the same access to care. Of course, there's also ongoing uh, protracted uh, conflict in that country, and so uh, health services and income diversion may also be at play here, so that's important to keep in mind. Um, so this study, uh, its uh, strength is, is basically that it's the first study to look at this high number of caught chewers and to even uh, postulate or make any um, decisions or at least uh, come up with original data related to caught chewing and ACS and stroke uh, before we've only had really case control and case reports, uh, which have suggested that there may be association but haven't been able to prove it. Um, some of the disadvantages of this study is that we know that they don't have as many females, um, that the African blacks were not enrolled in the study, and um, there's actually only 55 or so strokes in the study. So certainly more data are needed, as always, to understand this. Um, and uh, we're only beginning to understand caught, even though it's been around for millennia, only over the last you know few years have we really started to explode the area and understand it. So I think this is a, a great original study to, to think about, and certainly uh, it, it's got a global distribution and a global impact, because even though cot chewers are predominantly in the Middle East, uh, cot is now chewed internationally and distributed internationally. They're saying up to seven metric tons of cot goes through Heathrow Airport every week from certain countries. So we know that it's everywhere. So I thought it was a fascinating article. We hope you benefited from this presentation. 
based on the content of Mayo Clinic proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.